My next guest, the very delightful Lee Russell, started life as a school teacher and she's now a full-time crime thriller writer, having sold over a million copies of her Geraldine Steele books around the world. First tip is to work hard. Second one is to be brave because when you put your books out there, you spend a lot of time working on your book, you don't know what people are going to say about it. The third and possibly the most important tip is to be lucky. <laughs> that is impossible to say. Um, but in general, I think the f my favourite, because always the one that I'm writing at the moment, is in my head. But um, I'm obviously rather fond of my debut, Cut Short, because that was the first in my long-running Geraldine Steele series, and that was the first book that I wrote. And I've also got another um, first, first book in a series out, which is called Journey to Death, uh, with, a, with a different protagonist. So it's impossible to say, really. My writing space is in my head. I can write anywhere. I have an iPad at home. I have an iPad mini, which goes everywhere with me. Um, so yes, I do sometimes get out of bed rather late in the morning. Um, who was it said recently that uh, the main reason for being a writer is that you don't have to get out of bed in the morning. Uh, so I can write in bed. I wrote a chapter on the train up here. If I'm on an aeroplane flying off to a festival somewhere, I'll write a chapter on the plane. Uh, really, I can write anywhere and I can write at any time. Um, as long as I have the ideas in my head, I'll be writing. And so people sometimes ask me if I have a routine, but no, I don't. <laughs> oh, that's so difficult to say. Um, my tastes are very eclectic. Uh, I enjoy Dickens, Edith Wharton, Ian McEwan, all, all sorts of authors. Um, but if you were to ask me my favourite crime writer, I would have to say, without risk of insulting or offending any of my current uh, fraternity in, in the crime writing field, my favourite crime writer is Shakespeare. No, when I started writing, I did. Um, I used to write everything longhand in pencil and then type it up in the evening and I couldn't write directly onto a keyboard. I don't know at which point um, I, I made the the change, but now I write directly on a keyboard. I don't have any rituals at all. All I need is the ideas in my head. And I always say, writing a book is not the typing, it's the ideas and the research. No, um, as a child, I was an avid reader. I used to read all the time. I was one of these children whose nose is always in a book. And it never actually occurred to me to try and write myself. Authors were somehow sort of mysterious people out there somewhere. And um, I literally just had an idea one day when I was middle-aged, let's say, not young. Um, I had an idea one day, I started writing, and it was like turning on a tap. I've not been able to stop ever since. So from being an avid reader, I just switched to being a compulsive writer. It all, they all take us into different worlds, don't they? It's all about stories. But no, I had no grand plan to become an author, and it just happened one day, and here I am. I don't like being asked, well you've already asked it actually in a way, I don't like being asked who is my favourite crime writer because there are so many brilliant crime writers and I, I'm just so in awe of so many of them. I'm not even going to mention any names, well perhaps I should mention the wonderful Peter James uh, who is one of my favourites, And uh, but there are just so many wonderful authors. It, really if I was to tell you all the crime writers that I enjoy reading, we would be here until tomorrow and I'd miss my dinner tonight. So. I do try to plan my books and I do have this ambition of planning a book really carefully so when I sit down to write it everything will just work out as it should. Uh, but of course as I'm writing ideas occur to me or something that I thought would work doesn't and I have to change it. So I have a general outline but when you write a book you're taking your readers on a journey. I know where we start and I know where we're going to end up but how we get there, you know, sometimes you come across a, a roadblock or you see a shortcut so things tend to evolve and change as I'm writing, but I try to plan. <laughs> oh yes, and um, in fact, I now back up um, very carefully. Of course, these days, everything is backed up on the cloud. So nothing is ever really lost. But I do have, as I mentioned earlier, I have an iPad and I also have an iPad mini and the two are synced. So whatever I do on my iPad mini when I'm out and about, 
magically appears on the mothership at home. So I have a, an actual physical backup myself. But um, in the days of memory sticks, um, yes, I mean, when I first started out, I wasn't so um, clued up about backing up. And yes, I did. But let's not go into that. <laughs> Thanks so much, Lee. It's always great to see you.